Dzień dobry. Hello. Hello, Martina. Hello. Hello. My name is Michael Stępniewski. I am the speaker of this commission today. Together with me is Pani Katarzyna Rynkiewicz i Pan Piotr. Uh, and together with us, you will uh, have the 15 minutes we spend together. And maybe the first I introduce myself, my name, that's what I said, Michael Stępniewski. I am the uh, member of the uh, management board of the KDPW, that's the national deposit uh, close to the stock exchange, and Pani Katarzyna Rynkiewicz. Hello, Martina. Nice to meet you. My name is Katarzyna Rynkiewicz. I am in the managing director of, at E.ON Poland. That's the uh, broker's uh, company. Very nice to meet you. My name is Piotr Wilgomas. I'm chairman of the board of Bigram. We are executive search and HR consulting company. Now, Martina, please do your presentation. You have five minutes. Remember about this that we have just 15 minutes and you can start. Okay, give me a second. I will share my screen with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. One moment, please. Okay, do you see the presentation? Yes, we see you on the presentation too. Yes, hello. <laughs> so, first of all, I want to say hello to everybody and I will start my presentation. So, uh, who I am and what I'm interested in? So first, I'm Martina, as you know, and uh, I'm a second grade student in Hofmannova High School. Now I'm extending maps and geography, but I think mathematical sciences are most important for me. Um, I'm an extroverted person. I love to cooperating with others. Uh, I'm not afraid of any challenges. Um, as a, some like curiosity, I can tell you that I'm riding a motorbike and I love to do this. Uh, and I'm also developed culturally. I'm playing the guitar and I have my own band. Uh, so what I'm interested in. Um, first of all, I'm interested in economic and mathematical sciences. Um, I've always been interested in mathematics, especially in the special context of developing a business. Um, I'm also often wondering uh, about what artificial intelligence, AE and high technology, has in common with, with business, uh, how it will move forward and maybe how many people or even whole professions uh, it will replace in the future. Um, now I would like to move on to what I do at school and beyond. Um, at school, I'm leading the debating club and participate in Oxford debates. Uh, I have become now the 10th best speaker in Poland. Uh, I'm also now running debate training courses, uh, during which I pass my knowledge to the next generation. Um, I think it's important to pass my knowledge and I, it's pleasure for me to do this because I like cooperate with other people. Um, and then because my active work at school, um, I was now elected for the next year's head of the event organizers at my school, at Hofmanova High School. Uh, and my section organizes events in such as technical and mechanical terms as setting up the scene. Uh, I also get involved in acting for others. Um, at the moment, I'm the head of uh, volunteering in Zazen. It's the part of the Vara district when I live. Uh, and now uh, it would also be like appropriate that I say what I organized at school and beyond. So first of all, uh, I have experience organizing some of small theater forms uh, at 12 minute theater festival in my school. And as I said, I would be the head of the organizing section on the next year's festival. Um, I was also involved in the organization section for a uh, nine minute film festival. It is also in my school. Um, additionally, I can tell you that I organized a successful open day event at my school. Uh, I acted there as a head of the security. We named it like like that. Uh, and then I managed with my team to control, like, I can say large crowd, maybe 4,000 people. We counted. It was there. Um, and I was also, as I said, involved in the volunteering. And I've organized various charity collections now recently for Ukraine uh, when the war started. Um, now I would like to move on. Uh, what would I get from this uh, scholarship? So firstly, uh, I would have the opportunity to see a big corporation such like Google or LinkedIn in Silicon Valley. 
And this would allow me to, to learn how big tech, like, like this uh, GAPAM, uh, use modern technologies and how it is related now to business, because I think it is our, our future. Uh, I think the Silicon Valley is perfect for me because I'm interested in relation of business and technology, so it will be good to go there. The trip will also provide me with knowledge about studying and social life in U.S. universities. Uh, because I read about the scholarship and I know that I will have the opportunity to visit the uh, Stanford University, Google or LinkedIn or Microsoft. Mm, I'm open minded. So the scholarship will also uh, allow me to build like new relationships with other scholars and eminent scientists. I am convinced that it would motivate me to, to continue my personal development. Uh, and last thing, but not least. Mm, what uh, my community will gain from the scholarship, and there are three things. Firstly, I can share the knowledge, cultural and scientific knowledge, to my uh, community. Secondly, uh, I can use the experience gained during the trip to organize better events. I will be enabled to better organize events. It would be benefit for my school community and beyond. And lastly, my departure would be an inspiration for others to get involved in social activities. Moreover, I think that it would be, I would be alive in proof that dreams do come true if you work hard. My time ran out, so thank you for this presentation. Thank you very much. And we now start the question. Maybe the first, Pani Katarzyna. Uh, Martyna, um, when I hear you, um, you sound like a, a, a leader, not a sometimes a formal, sometimes not formal leader. So please tell me, how do you engage people? How do you uh, persuade them to, to work with you? Okay, so first of all, I'm very open-minded and empathetic, and I think it is very important to, to get people into. Uh, I like to cooperate with people. I like people, and I think that liking people is the first step to, to cooperate with them. Because I think that uh, I, only, uh, I only know more about people because I'm writing, uh, reading uh, very much about social and social life. I know very much about the process of the socialization. And I think that uh, the, the knowledge is, is helpful for me to cooperate with people. Uh, I also try to always uh, he hear the other people. I try to uh, to, to get the knowledge from them. I'm also uh, still learning to, to co cooperate with people. I'm not like ideal, I'm not perfect, so, uh, so don't think like that. Uh, I'm also, uh, I'm also uh, debating, so it, it is learning me to, to cooperate with people because debating is such a process that, that I, I must culturally discuss the things. And I think that debates learn me a lot about uh, about the cooperating with people. And I'm always smiling. Uh, I I have I have empathetic, uh, and that's all. And people like me. I like people, and that's all. Don't worry. Uh, uh, learning how to deal with people. Uh, it's the uh, uh, we 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 all do it all our lives. So uh, don't worry. Um, I, I also uh, would like to ask you about uh, a debate that you uh, that you lead. Uh, um, do you remember uh, any debates from the past that you liked the most, and the impact on on the society of your of your class uh, that uh, this uh, debate uh, did, uh, perhaps? Yes, I remember one specific debate, uh, and it was about American Democratic Party. Uh, mm -hmm. It was on Warsaw Debate Leaks, and it was about the economics of the United States and uh, and about uh, United States and about the Democratic Party and Republican Party. Uh, and then I, I came to my class, I came to school, and I was talking uh, on it always, and I was talking, talking how the what is the economy of the new United States, how the American Democratic Party is dealing with this economy. I told them about the business in the United States. I told them about the high technology in the United States, about all, all of I know to this debate. Because when I'm preparing to the debate, it's all, almost two weeks to prepare to one debate. Uh, I get knowledge about the, the, the theme, the subject, mm, because 
I think that debates give me the knowledge of many, many areas, for example, economy. I'm interested in economy because I'm debating. Uh, yeah. Debates are, are always, are often about economy issues, business issues, and social issues. So, so I, I'm learning from it. Uh, and yeah, and I think that debates give me this. Mm, and yeah, this this special debate I will remember forever because my class was tired because I told them always everything about it I know. So I will remember this forever, I think. Thank you very much, Martina. I really admire your enthusiasm. So uh, uh, thank you for meeting you. Um, okay, uh, if I may add one question from my side. Uh, thanks for your presentation, very interesting. And uh, as far as I see, you're a person full of energy which is great, uh, but I'm curious about one thing, because you have said that you are more interested in mathematics. So uh, normally that's the profile of the person more introverted and you're absolutely on the opposite side. So you're a very extroverted person. So I understand that you uh, like more working with people than with numbers. Is that true? Because you're not a type of scientist, rather uh, maybe entrepreneurship person. Rather, I'm, I start with that I wrote in my essay about Martin Luther, and he was different, and I'm also different. I'm interested in maths, and I'm interested in cooperate with people. Like, I like to, to, to propose something new to people, because I like uh, sitting in maths class, and I like uh, to, to get knowledge about mathematics. I like numbers. I'm, I, I also like numbers very much, and it is important for me. Uh, but also, I think that everyone in, in our society uh, can, uh, can cooperate with other people and can be open-minded. Whatever he is interested in maths and physics, for me, it is only like thinking, it's old thinking that people uh, interested in maths is, is introverted. And for me, that I, I'm showing people that it is old thinking and I can be uh, whenever, whatever uh, I, I can. And, uh, and I think that, that everyone can be wh uh, who they, they, they want to be. And I'm interested in maths. I'm, I love, uh, love numbers also. I'm interested in people. I'm cooperating. I'm open-minded. So I think that is, that is only old thinking and we can demand it. So, thank you. Okay, uh, one uh, more question, if I may. Uh, what kind of uh, current uh, big uh, problems of our planet are the closest to your heart or to the way you think? I think I read the most about global warming because I, <laughs> I debate about it. So, uh, I think it is closest to my heart uh because i'm thinking that temperature is rising and rising and how about in the future uh, near near to to hottest climates than poland because in poland it's it's like uh standing climate uh in geography but in 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 the other in the other like uh africa countries uh it will be danger to to in maybe 20 25 years it will be danger for people and i said that i like people uh, and I am worrying about it, that, that it will change the world because people will, will go out from there to, to, the, to the Europe, for example, or to the, to, to the, uh, to the climate that uh, is for, their, for them uh, good. Um, and I cannot. The time yeah. is up. So thank you very much. That's just the, <laughs> the time for one question from my side. Sorry for that. Who from the... Leading polls, it's the in your opinion, because you write about the Martin Luther King, who in your opinion is the big impact together with you, and uh, do you and you think that he was the one of the best speaker in the history. And from who from the leading polls do you think is the best speaker? Historically in, or maybe now, what do in you the think? Awards or in Poland? Between um, the leading polls. You said about the Martin Luther King, this is the foreign guy, you know, the foreign politics. Okay. But do you have any favorite in Poland? Okay, I, I don't good. exactly have the favorites, but I think that uh, maybe I will tell you something about uh, uh, Donald Tusk because I know uh, such. Oh, thank Very you for thank you for this answer, and uh, let's do one sentence from each of us. 
the summary and uh, Martina, in my opinion, I see the girls who has the, a lot of positive energy. That's congratulations, congratulations. And just one suggestion from my side, if you would like to be a good speaker, still remember about the time. If you are going somewhere and you have the lecture or something like this, the time is very important. Because if we have 10 minutes, you have 10 minutes. If you have 20 minutes, it's 20 minutes. So good speaker is the, also the guy who doesn't tell so much, but you know, between the time. So thank you very much. And Pani Katarzyna, please, one sentence and Piotr also. It's just, just uh, a pleasure to meet you and uh, good luck. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, uh, as I said before, a lot of positive uh, energy, which is inspiring for others. So thank you for your time and I hope you, you will keep your figures. Okay, so bye-bye. All the best. Thank you. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank you.